Today, I'm going to be organizing my baking cabinet because it is a very big mess. So, let's take a look. I'm actually slightly scared to look in here because I know it's really bad. Okay, so there we go. I do enjoy some baking. However, could do a much better job of organizing this. <laughs> so, let's get going. So, the first thing I'm going to do is take everything out and lay it out so I can see exactly what I really have. Because at this point, other than sprinkles, because people keep using them for ice cream, I have no idea what's in here anymore. is a nice sturdy container and I think I could repurpose this into something. So this one used to be a cupcake container. Now it's going to hold my icing tips. actually pretty deep, a little messy, gonna clean that out. here that I got from the Dollar Tree a little while back. You can watch that video if you want. I'll put it at the end of this one. And I am going to figure out now what can fit in what. <laughs>
to put this back in to that cabinet because I have been been taking part of the lid off and and just using the rim and I use it as a toothbrush holder. And then whenever it gets a little yucky, I can just throw it in the dishwasher and get a different one out and put it in its place. safe but I think what I'm at least going to try to do to start is to put the holiday ones all together and leave the non-holiday ones apart and see how many I actually have smaller baskets. left over from a Halloween a while ago and empty container. <laughs>
an exact science. You kind of have to do a little bit of Tetris work. You might try to put everything a certain way and you might later find out that that's not going to work and you have to switch it. So you have to kind of be flexible about your organization. So let's take a look at how it turned out. Okay, so the top drawer I made into mostly edible, mostly edible things. So we've got the spices and the extracts up here. We've got the food colorings, the food gels over here. We've got the sprinkles all in one place finally. And I had a lot of extra room back here. I was able to fit in my icing tips and my cake supplies. The bottom row became just accessories. So for example, I ended up doing the by holiday. So I have Christmas back here, I have Easter up here, I have fall up here, Valentine's Day up here. This one became just a miscellaneous. Then you come back here, little boys, and you have the cupcake wrappers. Uh, just pointing out that these ones are silicone and these ones are really cool and reusable. Then of course I have my skewers in the back for when I go back to make more apples. And of course then I have to have my little cupcake toppers up here too. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and that it gave you some inspiration to help you get organized yourself. I know it always helps me to watch somebody else do it. It kind of makes me feel like I have a friend doing it with me. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you liked this video. Have a great week. I'll see you next Friday for the next video. Bye.